Hello, Sylvia. How are you? I cannot hear you. I cannot listen to you. Can you listen to me? But I cannot listen to you. I wonder why. Okay. Uh, you, you listen to me? I listen to you right now. Okay. How are you, teacher? I'm just fine, thank you. What about you? Um, I am good teacher. Uh, a little tired, but all is good. Okay, that's excellent, that's excellent. Just give me a second, please. Solo de un instante. Okay. Uh, these days uh, was hard for me. The hospital was full of people. Oh yeah, you work as a secretary, and right? And when the hospital, yes, yes, but I attend patients. Yes. You attend patients. Yeah, and also I received all calls. I had a like a call center. Oh, receive really? all call of the people for yes okay you receive all the phone calls from the patients yes oh. uh, when they when some people need information about doctor about um all thing about the hospital i have the information for people so you are the person in charge of that you are yes. the person in charge. Wow, interesting. That's awesome. But I imagine that it must yes, be teacher. tiresome. Yes. Um, this wheat uh, was full. I don't know what happened with people, but was yes. full, teacher. <laughs> Everybody got sick this week. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Well, that happens, that happens. But the good thing is that you're here. Be careful. You have to be careful. Wear your Sorry? mask. Follow all the protocols. Can you repeat, please, teachers? Be careful. Follow all. Oh, yes, teacher. The protocols. Yes, teacher. It's tough, um, difficult because we use all protection for um, COVID. Yeah. We use, um, I don't know how you say it, gavacha. Yes, yes. What else? Uh, and also um, we use um, a gorro. Hood. Yes. Hood. Day t-shirt. In the day it was hot. Yeah, today was very hot. Pretty hot. And I have the, the, I have two um I don't know. I don't remember how do you say it, ventilador? Fan. Fan, yes. I have too fun and I I feel a lot of hot. Yeah, you feel the the warm of the weather. Because the weather is was terrible today. Yeah, that's true. It was windy, but it was hot. Yes, yes teacher. It was windy but, but oh, hot cold. at the same time. Hizo viento, pero igual estaba caliente. Yes. Well, but the good thing is that you're here in class. We are going to have fun today. We are going to talk a lot. Thank you very much, Sylvia. I appreciate it. Thank you. Katia. Hello, Katia. So good to have you. Hi, teacher. Tell me, is there still a blackout? 
Yes. <laughs> Paul is black here. <laughs> I'm sorry. And repeat, teacher. Is there still a blackout? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you told me that there was a blackout. Yes. Si no me yes, equivoco, still... se me que había un blackout. Yes. Right. Yes, teacher. A blackout. Still... Blackout. Uh -huh. That means apagón. Okay. So there's yes. still the blackout. Oh, that's... Maybe tomorrow can fix that. Well, let's hope so. Esperemos que sí. Yes. Uh, because that's terrible. Imagine me that I have to teach. That would be terrible for me. Yes. <laughs> well, but the good thing is that you are here in the class. Thank you very much, Katia. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Reinaldo, hello. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just great. What about you? How was your day? Um, very nice. Today is very nice. Okay. Let's see if I remember you work as an accountant, right? Yes, I am accountant, but my my work uh, is uh, ten, technical. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. So you are in a different area. Yes. Um, uh, before uh, I was auditor, oh, really? um, contador vista, um, so administrador, another, uh, how do you say, cargos? Uh, positions. Uh, another position, but right now, our technical specialist. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. That means that you work with a lot of numbers. Yes. Uh, I mean, accounting, uh, for me, that's difficult. Well, <laughs> it's good to know but, that is your area. Yes, for me, it's, it's an area beautiful, yeah, but I, I, uh, see, I am a content, I'm an auditor, but it's a very problem for the number, not for the numbers and count, and how do you say balance? Balance, balance sheet. Balance, the balance. Another question with the the law, the law is too. Yeah. Because the accountant is use the uh, the political um, the oh, law. Yeah, I mean, you, have, you have to follow a lot of a lot of uh, steps. You have to follow laws and. For me, what I don't like is taxes. That's the only thing I know <laughs> yes. about accounting, and I hate doing the taxes. But in the Ministerio de Hacienda, we, uh, how do you recollect that? How do you say recollect that? Collect. Col we collect the taxes. Uh, I hate taxes. I got to pay in, in, in my In my case, uh, taxes in the import, um, internal taxes, oh, for, his, for example, IVA. Oh, that's cool. Huh? IVA import. Interesting, very interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much, Reynaldo. Thank you. Let's see who else is around. Mr. Enrique Maradiaga, good evening. How are you? Good evening. I am fine. Welcome to the class, Mr. How are you today? Tell me, how was your day? Uh, you, you're welcome. Este, in English, no muy bueno, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. How was your day? Sí, le entiendo, oh. sí, le entiendo, sí, le entiendo a lo que me preguntó. Okay. Pero, uh, tell me, tell me in Spanish. I will translate and then you repeat. La, la media estuvo bastante bien y aunque me mojé al final del día, pero. Ya estamos acá en clase. Okay. It was, it was very good. It was very good. Even though I got wet because 
of the rain. This is it, look. Okay. It was very good, even though I got wet because of the rain. Please read it for me. It works very good. Yes. Even I go with because of the rain. Yes, yes. Just let me. Okay. Even though. Even though. Even though. Ah, okay. Oh, well, thank Even you. I go with. Yes. Thank you very much, Enrique. Welcome to the class. Thank you. You're welcome. Miss Linda Funes, hello, how are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good Fine, evening, thank how you. are you? Tell me, how was your day, Miss? Um, my day is fine, but a little tired. Oh, but really? Fine. Tell me, what time did you get yeah. home today? Uh, the seven at seven. Oh, you at just arrived home. Recién llegó. Sí, casi. Okay, interesting, interesting. Listen, you just got home. That expression there, just means acaba. Recién. You just. Uh, you I just. just. So oh, you just got home, yeah. Wow, terrible. How was traffic? Um, not, um, I out late to my work. Oh, really? That's why, because you went out. You check out, check out. Remember, cuando marcamos la salida, that's checked out check out okay check out. so okay. you checked out late mm. yes that's the reason interesting interesting well welcome to the class miss thank you teacher let's see who else do i have here who else do i have here basilia hello how are you hello good evening teacher good evening I'm fine. how was your day miss um, a little tired, but it's good that day. Oh, really? A little bit tired, but a good day. Okay. What about you? Tell me, what time did you get home? Uh, I I don't work. Oh. Out my house. I don't work. <laughs> you stay home. That's cool. <laughs> yes, it's good, but in in the house. The, a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, I know, I know. I help my son with the homework. homework. Yes. How old is your son? He's six years old. Oh my gosh, you have a lot of work. Yes. Um, what do you say, aprendiendo a leer? How do you say? How? Um, my son. Okay, yes, but you don't say, you don't ask me, usted no me debe preguntar, what do you say? You have to ask me, how do you say? How do you say aprendiendo a leer? Okay, you are telling me that your son is learning how to read. Um. He is learning how to read. Okay, he is learning how to read and practice every day, every day in the uh, tarde? Uh, afternoon. Afternoon. Okay, well, you have a <laughs> lot to do. Yeah. Thank you very much, Vasily. It was a good conversation. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. Tamara, hello, Tamara. Hello, teacher. Good How evening. How are you? Good evening. Very tired. Very tired. Please tell me why. Um, 
Ay. ¿Cómo se dice? Me puse la vacuna del COVID. Oh, ok. I got the COVID. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What am I doing here? I'm sorry. You're telling me I got the COVID vaccine today. I got the COVID vaccine today. Okay. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's kind of tedious. It's un poco tedioso. Yes. <laughs> and it takes a little bit of time, but it's good to have it. It's bueno tenerla. I know yeah. that, I know that. I, I got it like uh, two weeks ago. A mí me la aplicaron ya hace dos semanas, yeah? Yeah, two weeks ago. Well, thank you, miss. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Mr. Humberto, hello, Humberto, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Tell me, Humberto, please. What is your I'm hobby? Fine. What's your hobby, Humberto? I don't have any hobby. You don't have any hobby? I don't have any hobby. Okay, but what do you do in your free time? Only review the social web. Media. Social media. Social media. Say with me. Social media. Social media. Yeah. Okay, just let me send something. Um, only work all the day. <laughs> all day long. All day long. All day, all, the, long. all day long, long work. Okay, where do you work, mister? I work, I work in, in Bali Manufacturing, it's a factory of dresses. Oh, really? They make dresses? Yeah, they, uh, we, we sewing um, dresses. Okay, that's cool. I mean, those are big companies and a lot of people. Yes, um, the factory ha has um, 3,700 employees. Approximal employees. Approx wow, 3,700. That's a lot of people. A yeah. big company. Well, thank you very yeah. much, Mr. In my case. Yes, tell me, tell okay. me, tell me. Tell, no, tell me. Okay. In my case, I work in, in quality department. Okay. And, and today, uh, have a have a hard hard day. A hard because, day. A hard day because um today receive a uh, one supply supplier. Okay. Yes, supplier. And and review and we review some um, transfer label. Yes. Uh, issues, transfer labor issues. So it was a heavy day for you today. Yeah, today is heavy. Okay, well, the good thing is that you are okay. home, you are in class. That's important right now. You are relaxed. Yes, I, I am relaxed in this moment. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Humberto. Nice talking to you. 
Thank you, teacher. Mr. Enrique, tell me, what's your hobby? What's your favorite activity? Sorry, mister, I cannot hear you. Sorry. No problem. Tell uh, me. My, my favorite hobby. Hobby? Hobby. Is uh, watch uh, anime. Oh, really? To watch anime? Yes. That's cool. What's uh, your favorite one? What's your favorite anime? Uh, any mucho, mucho barrio. Okay, uh, but what type of anime do you like? ¿Qué tipo le gusta? Uh, like, do you like uh, like Dale Note, like uh, uh, oh Evangelion? Top yes, top. yeah. Este Evangelion, Death Note, eh, Naruto, okay. Dragon Ball, eh, eh, Inuyasha, The One Piece. Okay. Y... How now listen to me, listen to this question. How often do you watch anime? Often Juan a menudo. Creo que... Y... Quiero ver, no sé si es eso, claro. How often? Cuando always, me... always, always. Okay, always. that's cool. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much, Enrique. You're welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Karen, hello, Karen. Hi, teacher. Hello, Karen. How are you? I'm fine. Tell me, Karen, what's your hobby? What do you like to do uh, in your spare time? We watch movies. Watch we. movies. Okay, what's your favorite type of movies? Romance. Okay. And comedy. Romance and comedy. Cool. Excellent. Now tell me, how often do you watch them? Um, four times a week. How many times a week? Two? Four three. times. Four times a week. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Now, remember, you say, Karen, I watch them four times a week. Okay. Remember, always, the time expression goes at the end. Si para contestar una pregunta nosotros decimos el número de veces utilizando una time expression, la time expression siempre al final, okay? okay. Always at the end. So you say, I watch them twice a week, three times a week, four times a week. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much, Karen. Let's see, Emily. Hello, Emily. Hi, teacher. Emily, I know, I know your answer, but I have to make the question. Tell me, what's your hobby, Emily? I practice boxing. Practice I always boxing. That's cool. How often do you practice? Tell me, how often do you train? What? How often do you train? Uh, I, I go to practice yes. every day at 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, from 5 to 6 p.m., one hour every day. Yes, because it's a class. Okay, it's a class. Excellent, excellent. And do you practice at home? No, because um, I, in my home, I don't, I don't, I need space for practice. Okay. Listen, there's not, there's not, there is not enough space at home to practice. Check it out in the chat. There is not enough 
space at home to practice. No hay suficiente espacio. Yeah, yeah I, I tell you because, I mean, I ask you because I know that uh, the people who like sports, like my son is in the same, in the same in kickboxing. He practices every day at, at noon. He makes exercise, a routine here at home. And at five, he goes to class. He's crazy about that. Thank yeah. you, really. Okay, guys. Now, why am I asking this question? ¿Por qué les, les estoy haciendo estas preguntas? Don't worry. Further on in the class, you will see. You will see. Más adelante van a encontrar el por qué. Okay? It's going to be part of an exercise we are going to do. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But first, I need to explain something. And to explain that little something, we are going to watch a small video. Okay? Just let me do some fixing here. This is a very, very short video. The one we got in the platform. They were going to watch three videos from the platform from section one. And let me start sharing with you. Okay, we're gonna do here, then we go here. Let me just switch a little something. Okay, just hold on a second. Perfect. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. Perdón. I made a mistake. Sorry, guys. Here. Okay, let's see. Here, in the platform, in the English Corporativo platform, exercise 1.6, pronunciation, intonation with direct address. I need you to please listen. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Okay, what is the explanation about? It goes like this, guys. Whenever we are speaking, something that is very important is also the intonation, not just the pronunciation, okay? The pronunciation is the way we speak. Oh, I'm sorry, I think you cannot hear me quite well. Creo que no, me escuchan un poco diferente, ¿verdad? Let me make a switch. What about now? Can you hear me better? Yes? Perfect. Yes, teacher. Excellent, yes. excellent. It's just that I got three microphones, three different microphones. Okay, let's see. Uh, what was I saying? Let me see. Oh, when we are speaking, as I told you, we got the we got the pronunciation. We got the accent, the pronunciation, and the intonation. Okay. The accent is like uh, I mean. When you, like, if you listen to a Mexican person speaking, you can identify easily, right? We identify that person easily, right? The same happens if we listen to a Cuban or a, somebody from Argentina, right? We identify them through the accent. Now, the pronunciation is the correct pronunciation of each word, okay? La pronunciación es el decir cada palabra, el vocalizar las palabras de la manera correcta, okay? Like uh, right now, when, when we start speaking English, we tend to do this. Cuando comenzamos a hablar inglés, tendemos a hacer esto. We tend to open, open our mouth more and to, we tend to vocalize a little bit more. 
and that's normal, okay? That's pretty normal, don't worry. With the pass of time, you start doing it like this. You don't open your mouth that much, but you're still pronouncing every word, you see? Con el paso del tiempo hacemos esto. Ya no abrimos tanto la boca, pero igual se oye bien la pronunciación. That's just a matter of practice. Don't worry. Eso simplemente tiene que ver con práctica. Don't worry. You will get to it. Now, the, in this case, we are talking about the intonation. Ahorita vamos a hablar del tono. What's that? Simple. Look. Let's see. Imagine that we are in a conversation. Estamos en una conversación. And I tell you, what's your name? ¿Qué tipo de oración fue esa? Pregunta. Exactly. Question. Thank you, Enrique. It was a question. Right? My name is Enrique. Excellent. Now, if you listen, you can different, you can make, you can tell the difference. I'm sorry. You can tell the difference. Intonation. Yes, you can tell the difference from the question to the answer due to the intonation. Vemos la diferencia de la pregunta a la respuesta por la entonación, right? That's normal, okay? That's pretty normal. Now, something that we must be aware of, algo de lo que debemos darnos cuenta, as the video, the, as the video says, is that if I'm saying something like, oh, Today is a hot day, right? Today is a hot day, Silvia. You told me that? Yes. Okay. Listen to me. Today is a hot day, Silvia. Before the name, if I, if I put a name at the end of a sentence, si pongo un nombre al final de la oración, the word that goes right before the name, La palabra que va cabalito antes del nombre. I tend to pronounce it going down. ¿Ok? La entonación de esa palabra va hacia abajo. El volumen que le doy. ¿Ok? Today was a hot day. Right, Silvia? You see? Right, Silvia? I went down and made a small pause. That's very important for us to remember. If you need to practice it more, remember, you can access to the video. Si necesitamos practicarlo más, recuerden, se pueden accesar al video in the platform and check it out, okay? And don't worry, tomorrow, no, let me see. Yes, tomorrow we are going to be doing exercises about the adverbs of frequency, and tomorrow we are going to be also doing exercises about the intonation, okay? Mañana vamos a hacer ejercicios like a, like a review of the whole section, como un repaso de toda la sección, okay? It's going to be interesting. I'm going to prepare something special for you. Le voy a preparar algo especial. Okay, now, is there any question about this? Pregunta? No? Is it clear, Reinaldo? Yes, it's clear. Thank you. Listen, what I said. Um, Is it clear, I, Reinaldo? Yes, tell me, Humberto. I I think um, we need more practice for intonation. Yeah, that's normal. Don't worry, but we are going to be doing exercises like that. Uh, algunas clases van a ser muy explicativas, pero van a haber otras que vamos a tener mucha práctica. Don't worry, Humberto. We are going to be practicing. The idea, for, the idea, my idea is actually that you speak more. Today is because it's a long explanation. Hoy porque la explicación es un poco larga. But that's why I'm telling you that tomorrow I will try to focus more on you practicing. El día de mañana nos vamos a enfocar en que ustedes practiquen. ¿Ok? Excellent, excellent. And if I, okay. if I happen to forget it for a moment, y si en algún momento se me escapa, please remind me. Recuerden, remember, this is your class. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, uh, when we are talking about the intonation, remember, when we make an exclamation like, hey, today is a beautiful day, right? 
I was up. That's an exclamation. Exclamation, they are up. Las exclamaciones siempre van hacia arriba. Today is a nice day. See? ¿Sí? Oh, today's class is interesting. I'm going up. Now, uh, let's, I can ask, I'm sorry, I can ask Katia. Hey, Katia, do you practice English at home? Yes, teacher. Okay, that was a question. Do you, listen to the question. Do you practice English at home? In a question, the intonation goes down, right? In a pregunta, la intonación goes down. In a negative, oh man, I don't like hot days. Listen, I don't like hot days. In a question, it goes like this. I don't like hot days. You see? Just in the word not, the negation, it went up. Solo en la negación se nos fue arriba. The rest in the same level. Okay? So, it's very important that we remember that. Exclamation, the whole sentence up. Right? Questions, they go down. Negatives, in the negation, up. The rest, normal. Okay? Don't worry. You will get to it through practice. And you will realize that actually that's almost the same as in Spanish. Y se van a dar cuenta que es casi lo mismo que en español. Perhaps sometimes we will have a little trouble with questions, mostly. Nos va a costar un poquito con las preguntas. Because in Spanish, I mean, John, in English, well, questions in Spanish with questions in English, I mean, they are the same questions, but... The way we say it, sometimes in Spanish, we make a question in, with the same structure as an affirmative sentence. El problema es que nosotros en español hacemos las preguntas a veces igual que fuera una oración afirmativa. And in English, we are more specific. We change the structure. Okay? But don't worry, we will get to that further on. A eso vamos a llegar más adelantito. Ya lo tenemos preparado en la clase. Okay? Don't worry, don't worry. Let's continue. Shall I continue? ¿Puedo continuar? Yes? Perfect. Excellent. Okay. We will see. Leo. We will see. Now we go again to the platform. Okay. Let's see, guys. We are here. Okay. Today I sent you. Do you remember that I sent you the conversation? Yes. Le envié la conversación, right? To the group, to the WhatsApp group. If you don't have it, I'm sorry. If you do not have the conversation, please take a screenshot. Si no tiene la conversación, tómale un screenshot. Because today we are going to practice the conversation. Okay? Hola, vamos a practicar. I'll give you three minutes so you can practice in pairs. Right? And I will choose like four or six of you for you to pronounce. Te voy a escoger como unos cuatro o seis de ustedes para que la pronuncie. So, I send it to the WhatsApp group. Se las mandé al grupo. You can check it out there. And remember, you can find it in the platform again. It's in the platform. It's exercise 1.8, conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. So, let's listen to it. No se escucha muy bien, teacher. Hold on. Es que no estaba compartiendo tampoco pantalla. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was trying to get something. Perdón, me estaba queriendo obtener algo. Just give me a second. We are going to do it through B.
In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, guys. Now we are running against time. Let me create the groups. They're going to be working in pairs. Okay, groups are created. Please, you will have two minutes for practicing that conversation. Let's do it. Hurry up, please. Caroline. Hola. Hola. Okay, yo comienzo entonces. Sí, yes. You are, you are in great shape, Kate. Thanks, I guess I am real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Twice, twice. That sounds it's... like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you? Hello, guys. Did you do it? Did you practice it? Hola. Hello, teacher. Hello. Estoy hablando, pero creo que no, no hay nadie. Adonai. Perhaps he has problems. Puede ser que tenga problemas de conexión. Sí, probablemente porque está lloviendo súper fuerte. Oh, really? Sí. No problem. Somebody is telling me that it's having problem with the connection. Alguien me dijo por acá que tenía problemas. Yes. Yeah, I can't. Oh, Anderson Garcia. Let's see, just give me a second then. Hello guys, did you practice it? Yes. <laughs> did you switch? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. excellent. Then we're going back to the main room in 60 seconds, okay? Okay. Okay. okay.
Okay, okay, okay. We are just waiting for everybody to come back so we can start doing the conversation. Just a few more seconds. Check it out. 13, 12, yeah, just a few seconds. There's everybody. Excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Who is it going to start? Quien iniciará? Let's see, I need volunteers, and the first volunteer is going to be Humberto, Humberto and Linda. Okay. Okay. Linda, Linda you, you start. Uh, oh, you start. Okay. You're in great shape. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I get I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work up? Do you work out? Well, I I do aerobics three twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Huh. How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Perfect. Very good pronunciation. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Mario, hello Mario. Hello teacher, I, I have a problem with uh, print the screen, the conversation. Uh, oh. I can, uh, I, I don't. You don't have it. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Impossible no. practice with Linda. Okay, no problem. It's no. for me, responsibility. No problem, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Perhaps tomorrow we have better. Don't worry. Okay. Let's see. Then it's going to be it's going to be Karen and Reinaldo. Okay. Okay. Karen, you start. Okay. You're in great shape, Kate. Kid. Kid. You're in great shape. Kid. Dance. I guess I am really fit. Is great. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, uh, do you want to play some time? Um, how well do you play? Uh, pretty well, I guess. Well, I write, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a tip, a, a few tips. A few tips, perfect, thank you. I really like it, guys, that everybody's focusing on intonation. Excellent, well done. Let's see, I still thank got you. time for some more, some more. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh -huh. Who is it going to be? Lilian, Lilian Granillo. And Charlie. Who's Charlie? Okay. Hold on, let's see. Hola. Just give me a second. Estamos esperando por el compañero. Okay. Hello, mister. Hello. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, Lilian, you start. Yes. Uh, you're in great shape, 
fit. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobic twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, I write, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Perfect. Excellent. Very well done. Sylvia. Sylvia and Katia. Okay, teacher. You are in great shape, Kate. Wait a minute. Uh, hello. Thanks. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobic twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis does sound like a lot of fun. Um, do you want to play some time? Mm, how well do you play? It? Pretty well, I guess. Well, it's all right, but I know very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Perfect, thank you. And let me see, I still got time for one more fair. Let's see who is it going to be. Quien no me ha participado? Marta. Hello, Marta. Hello, Peter. Let's see, one of the guys, one of the guys. And... Enrique, you're going to help Marta. Okay. You're in great shape, kid. Oh, Thanks. I wish I am real fitness great. How often do you work, Cap? Well, I do hours twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh. How well, how well do you play? Pretty well, I wish. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem, I'll give you a few tips. Okay, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Now, listen to me, I'm going to pronounce for you. You are in great shape, kid. Thanks. I guess I'm a real I'm fitness freak. Thanks. I'm sorry, I'm going to. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to put everybody. Voy a poner a todos en silencio. Okay. Okay. I repeat. You are in great shape, kid. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Mm, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Now, questions with vocabulary, guys. Preguntas con el vocabulario. Is there any question? Me, teacher. Yes, tell me, Vasilia. A fitness freak. Okay, a fitness freak. When you say that somebody is a freak, decimos que esa persona es como... Alguien que está muy, muy metido en algo. Ok. So, fitness es estar en forma. So, a fitness freak is a person who exercises a lot. Okay. Obsesionado. Yes, yeah, something like that. Sí. Yeah. Like, oh, I, 
I was telling you yesterday, I love reading. I read a lot. I think I'm a freak. I'm a book freak because I love getting new books all the time. Is that clear for you now, Basilia? Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Remember, guess. I guess. Supongo. Creo. Okay. That's what it means. I guess. Supongo. O creo. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. Now, we have here some expressions. We have how often. Juan a menudo. How well. How well do you play? Que tan bien. O cuan bien. Okay. That's the idea when you say how well. Now, do you remember that there, at the beginning of the class I was asking you how often? Now we have how well. And we are going to get two more. Those two more, we are going to watch them today. I'm going to do a small exercise. And tomorrow we are going to practice more. Let me share with you one last short video from the platform. Let me just put you in a second. Okay. Sorry. Here it goes. Let's listen to it. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello, everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Okay, we're going to listen to it one more time, okay? can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Nor can ask in order to know frequency and short answers. Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice Okay. Listen. These questions are for asking about frequency and performance. How often? How long? This is about the frequency. How well, how good. These two are about performance. Performance, desempeño. How well, que también. O cuán bueno eres. How good are you at sports? Okay? All questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How, how often, how long, they refer to times or frequency. How well, how good, they refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? 
How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Or frequency. Oh. How well? How good? Pretty good. Oh. Now, listen. Give me just a second. Because we are running against time. How say how often when we say how often we are saying quan a minute. Okay. How often do you work out? Every day, twice a week, not very often, always, all the time, every day in the morning, at night. How long do you spend at the gym? This is asking for the time, the minutes. Oh, I spend one hour. Uh, I remember that one of your classmates goes to train to the gym one hour a day from five to six, right? Two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. How well? How well do you play tennis? Pretty well, about average, not very well. You can say not bad, okay? How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay, not so good. Now listen, how good are you at tennis? It's the same question, the same idea. Okay. Now, in the case of these four questions uh, here, how often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Those you are going to answer them in the discussion box, okay? Here, you hit show discussion and you add your comment, okay? Now, questions, preguntas? Fisher, uh, what is the difference in the use how well or how good? How well, que también? Oh, do you like cooking? ¿Usted cocina, Linda? Yes. Okay. How well do you cook? Uh, pretty well. Okay. <laughs> ¿Qué también cocina? Okay. How good are you at pastries? ¿Qué tan buena? Uh, no, okay. so good, pero... Ahí es okay. donde, donde no, no entiendo muy bien la diferencia en cuándo usar una y cuándo okay. usar otra, por ejemplo. How well es que también hace algo. How good uh -huh. es cuán bien bueno. o qué tan bueno se es uh -huh. a la hora de desarrollar la actividad. Actually, it's almost the same idea. Damos la uh -huh. misma idea. It's just a different way to approach it. Es una manera distinta de, de llegar a ella. Ok, I ask you. How well are you at cooking? How good are you at cooking? Mm -hmm. I'm asking the same. Puedo utilizar cualquiera de los dos. Most of the time, la mayor parte del tiempo, yes. Okay. Any other question, guys? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Yes. Don't worry. Tomorrow we are going to make an exercise about this last video. No se preocupen que estas preguntitas las vamos a practicar mañana, okay? How long? How often? How good? Tomorrow we are going to make a practice of that. Vamos a dedicar unos minutos para practicarlo. Okay? okay? So, please, be early in the class so we can all of us practice. Thank you very much, guys. It was a pleasure for me to have you here. Be early in class. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.